don't shake your head. Either that's got to be reshot, re or we got to get a hack squat machine in our in our gym because I got to get on those. I don't even know what that there. is. Hack squat machine? Should I got to get on the legs. Oh, I like those. Bit. Let's get that. Make all it right. happen. You got pull. All right, so I was all set, honestly. I'm flying on the plane. We're doing the text back and forth with S-Rod, and I'm saying to myself, Chris Bryant's had an interesting start to the year with the Colorado Rockies. They're playing good baseball. Let's skybox Chris Bryant, see if he's doing something different. And as I'm drifting off to sleep, Mookie Betts hits a game-tying home run and changes the entire A block. So I wanted to deep dive into this game. Watched it cover to cover first. Can we start with the most polarizing player in the game? I mean, you can argue Acuna. I know people love Shohei Otani, but this guy, I can't take my eyes off him. Whether you have a good opinion, bad opinion, whatever you think, when he's on the field and he's up to plate, up to the plate, you cannot not watch it. The way his body moves is different than everyone else in the league, and it's only a matter of time before he gets completely locked in. And on Saturday night, he took on Clayton Kershaw. Clayton didn't have his great stuff, but we flash back oh. to April 23rd, 2021. In Dodger Stadium, this entire series, he just put everyone on notice. Letting everyone know, like, one of the best players in the game is here to stay. And watch this. Oh. Run that back for me real quick. This is the difference in the big leagues. Pause this. Pause. Okay? He's had success against Clayton Kershaw. If you were watching this game, he didn't have great command. But he still had decent stuff. He didn't have his good command. Look at where Will Smith is setting up on this 2-2 pitch and look where the pitch is. It's all about execution. I mean, he misses that by the entire length of the plate and doesn't get the ball back. And then Tatis will come up his next AB and just take a cutter on the inner half and hit it down the left field line for a missile home run. He does so many things right at the dish. Look at that. Mm. Beats him to the spot. Clayton's trying to rush that in. He lit that crowd up the other night. He hit an infield knock the other day. He beat it out, and I almost thought he was going to hit the gritty as he got by, past first base. <laughs> I, I'm telling you, there's so many things about this guy that just bring out emotion in you, but you can't deny that you can't take your eyes off him when he's playing. Bring up the board. Look at this. Highest career slug through age 24 season. Good grief. Right? I mean, that's rarefied I mean, hair. he's got baggage. There's no denying he's got baggage. But when he's on the field, I think he wears the best uni in the game. Who can rock mid-shin consistently? Yeah, consistently that's a tough look. That's a tough look. I and agree. get away with it yeah, and look good, good doing it. Yeah, you're right. We had to do that in the minors with the Braves. You got to show what a scam. You got to show two inches. All right, let's get in. Second one, Mookie Betts. What's that? <laughs> What'd you say? You got to show two inches oh, of the stirrup, okay. Robert. I, I wanted to make sure I was. Stop! Let hate. me take you through this AB real quick, because this is awesome. Mookie inside, inside, misses out over. He's letting you know, I'm coming heater in all day long. Oh, Ooh, that one didn't get to the spot. Boom, run that back for me. Mookie bets, making it happen. Pause this. We talk all the time. Do you pitch? Does the pitcher go to his strength, uh, his weaknesses, or does the pitcher pitch to his strengths? Because we're going to get into some numbers that support you do not come in with high velocity to Mookie Betts. But this is the best closer in the game, arguably. So he's going to pitch to his strengths. He's not worried about Mookie Betts. He's got respect for him, but he feels like he can beat him to the spot. Run this. Oh. He wasn't able to. And that's painted in but doesn't get in off the plate. That's Mookie being Mookie in a big spot right there. And just watching him during the WBC, run this back for me. He goes about hitting a little bit different than everyone else. Run this. Pause. He is trying to create that rubber band effect. Very athletic, but he is very conscious of his top hand the entire point of his swing, no, there's no rollover. And a lot of guys are trying to do this. I brought this up a couple of times, the Pete Alonzo's of the world. The hit to contact, back in the day, we didn't even really think about it. Andrew Jones always used to tell me, when you hit 
to contact, you want to finish high so the ball gets carry instead of hit here and it's going to be a grounder with kind of rolling in and out of it. That makes sense. It, ma it makes sense, right? Yeah. You wouldn't think after contact that it would, would play a part, but it certainly does. Mookie, there's a concerted effort for this top hand, palm towards the sky and keep it there the entire time to create the, that bat path and plane through the entire swing. Watch this, click it slower than that. Watch his top hand. They'll never be rollover, and this pitch is 96 in. Keep going, keep going. You see that? At the last second, it might come around, but there is an, an effort made for him to try and punch with that top hand. Awesome stuff. And I just wanted to bring this up because we're going to get into a board here. The inner half is where he absolutely crushes baseballs. I mean, he'll take his knocks the other way. He's got pop the other way. But if you come in, bring up the board. Highest slug versus pitches on the inner third of the plate since the start of 2022. Moogie Betts is second. Paul Goldschmidt hit three home runs yesterday. So that's Josh Hader saying, if I execute a pitch, I can beat you. But the game to me was Brent Honeywell in extras. Let's get to the third tile. This is the beauty of the sport right here. Okay, pause this real quick. I want to do Brent Honeywell justice. Brent Honeywell, talk to the kids at home. If you're good, they'll find you. You know where Brent Honeywell went to school? Walter State Community College in Morristown, Tennessee. Huh. Fine. Wow. Second round pick. He was one of the top prospects in the entire sport for the Rays. Robert, four elbow surgeries. Okay, so this guy has seen the abyss, grinded back, ended up in the Padres bullpen, and he has got a pitch. He has got a screwball that is so nasty. Run this. He throws it to Max Muncy right here to end the 10th. Oh. Look at that. Run that wow. back to me and pause that. How are you holding that? I mean, I've never seen that grip. You're hanging on. It's almost like a Vulcan, like Spock. Yeah. So run this. So I'm saying, wow, what a pitch he's throwing. Almost a screwball right there. And it's on. He's throwing it for strikes. We're going to stay with that. So pause this real quick, and I'll get into it. Top of the 10th. Man on third. I got a rookie at the dish. Run this. I mean, that's a flipper. He's got no chance on it. Throw it again. All right, dirt ball. If you're going to throw a heater out of the zone, now I'm one, two. Get right back to the flipper. What are you doing? Give it to me. Throw it now. You got a base open. Run that back. And the game's easy from the couch. Pause this. Stay with me. 2-2 two, two right here. Base open. I got a pitch working that no one can hit. I got a rookie at the dish. I'm at home. I don't like a 3-2 middle of the road heater in that spot. Boom, run it. And then the guy following him, I got to give love to Mr. James Outman because he has been huge for these Dodgers. He throws it right there again, doubles up on it, hangs it a little bit, and he's able to book it. He has been really good for them. The Dodgers are an interesting club because face value wise, when you watch them, it looked like they took a step back. It really did. But man, they're playing inspired baseball, took two or three. He's been really good for them. It's going to be an interesting NL West. I still think the Padres find a way to win this division, but they're going to keep fighting.